What's up you guys? It's been a minute since we've talked at you. It is the final night of scouting before Rocky's elk hunt starts tomorrow. So we're headed out to check on a rumor of a big bull, which is something you always gotta do. We found a lot of bulls this morning and some potential, potential shooters. So uh, we are basically just gonna give you guys a scouting montage of the last three or four days looking for bulls. So I've got three different bulls, well three different groups of bulls, like six different bulls, all down below me here. Uh, I got two kind of just like raggy six points, uh, two spikes, and then I got a group up here that I haven't let me see them yet, but it sounds like that bull's got all the cows. He sounds like he's got a big, deep bugle. Uh, so he's the one I really want to get eyes on. I think he's going to be the best bull in the canyon if I had to guess. Um, but yeah, this is fun. I, I forget every year how much fun this is just up here. I got, I don't know if you can hear that, but I got another, I got this bull screaming over here. These ones are starting to pipe off. Like this is fun. Good morning everybody, it's another good morning of glass and elk. I got a big group of cows, uh, bull hasn't showed up yet, but I don't think there'd be that many cows together without a bull with them this time of year. Also got a group of three spikes, which really getting the blood pumping um, down here next to me. Good morning so far, hopefully a big bull steps out. Glassing from another new spot again tonight. Glassed up some deer a long ways off. Uh, a couple bucks, nothing big, but still cool to see. Freaking still nice and hard white. Yeah. Got good weight to it. Good dog chew antler, for sure. Gordon with the Scordon. What do you think? Opening day. Opening day. We're gonna go in there, kill a giant bull, and go home. That's the deal. Sounds like a great plan. Is that, is that really bright? That's a little bright, yeah. But, uh... <laughs> all right. I got bulls screaming all around me. This is nuts. My wind is best to go chase the bull this way. Sounds like it's got a big, deep bugle, so let's see if we can get eyes on it. Tell people what happened this morning? Yeah. 
So I went down a ridge that I thought I was gonna be kind of glassing off of and kind of taking some longer shots off of, like two, 300 yard shots. Um, but all the elk ended up going into the timber. So I just went in there and started chasing bugles. Had eight different bulls in range. Um, three of them were shooters. I had one big five point come past me that I, I let walk. I had him at 80 yards broadside for about 10 seconds, but saw he was a five and I passed him. Then I saw one of my buddies and he showed me a video of that bull and I shouldn't have passed him. So we're gonna go try and find him or one like him. But yeah, awesome morning. Tons of bugles, chased a lot of good bulls and I'm excited to get back after it again tonight. Well folks, that was pretty dang fun. I was up on the ridge glassing for Rocky and glassing bulls and he was chasing bugles and every time I talked to him, he'd be like, I'm on bulls, I'm on bulls. Passed a bunch of raghorns and I was sitting up here talking out well, of my new buddy that I didn't even catch his name. But uh, we're sitting there talking and we hear boom! Right down where Rocky's been chasing bulls and I'm not kidding, like 15 seconds later, super quick reload, boom! Well, I've been chasing bugles all morning through the timber. Just saw a good bull, like 80 yards below me. Got two in him. I'm just waiting a minute to go down there. I think I heard him crash. Freaking, he looked good. Looked like he had a good back end. And, uh, man, I'm just pumped. He, he could be a freaking dink right now. I wouldn't care. Like, this is so much fun, guys. Like, Oh, I've been chasing bugles all morning. Past, I've passed, in two days, I've probably passed 15 bulls. Like, this is crazy amount of fun. But that's what you want, man. When you get a limited entry tag here in Utah, <coughs> like, that's what it's about. Oh, okay, I'm going to drink a little water, eat a little food, and then go down there and see what we got. But I, I'm pumped, beyond pumped. Like, this is my first, like, mature bull. And uh, I just want to make sure he's dead down there and... Unless then the work begins. <laughs> Thanks. Well, there he is, ladies and gents. Utah limited entry bull. There he is. I'm pumped. He's a good one. Well, I started up there. Then, with Rocky finally. This hill sucks. I don't even have any weight on yet. Freaking sweet bull. Nice. Dude, he's freaking sweet. He looks like my Dutton bull. He, that's exactly what I thought. As soon as I got my first look at him, I was like, oh, he looks just like Ben's Dutton bull. Dude, the freaking mass. Look how chunky he freaking is down there. Like. <laughs> hey, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy for you, bro. Thanks, man. It's freaking great bull. Great bull. Good fronts, like, I mean, just solid. Drop beam in the back, got a good beam. Yeah, like his other side's weak. It's not much weaker. Not much, but it's, it's smaller. He's got one stubby front. That's a stud. Dude. It's freaking sweet. He's huh? a stud. <laughs> look at those freaking bases, dude. You look at, look at trying to get your hand around them. You can't even get halfway. <laughs> Dude, he's a freaking tank. Not bad for a split decision for, I mean, no. I had I had a two second look, look at him. Look how big his freaking body is. Dude, he's an old bull. Well, I don't know if he's I old, think he but. he is way old, dude. Look but like, his freaking. Is. He's got like nothing. In the bottom. Yeah, like. Uh, dude, that is a stud. His ivories are freaking polished, dude. That's a great bull. All loose in there. Heck yeah. You shoot that bull a thousand times and never regret a second. I, I know, I never pass on that That's bull. a bull that was screwed. It had to be that one that was like, just sounded like a war. Dude, that, that's a tank. It's right where that bull was growling. I never heard him bugle, but yeah, as soon His as I saw it. His other side ain't freaking 10, five inches smaller. No, no, maybe with that shorter front and like, it's got a shorter, uh, shorter, shorter royal. No, it doesn't. Shorter back looking at it from the other side. It ain't much shorter at all. Uh, yeah, but even if I had 20 minutes to look at this bull, I'd have shot him. Yeah, every time. Dude, the freaking meat mass and the beans, like, 
He's just like one of those bulls. He's like, a, he's gonna, those horns are weigh like 12 pounds. Oh yeah, yeah, each. Dude, what a stud. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Woo! Fucking stout, dude. They say it's bad luck to stand behind another dude's bull. Just they don't really. <laughs> Man, what a tank. Stoked for Rocky put in the work on this unit. He's been here for like what, five, six days. Yep. It's only the second day of the hunt, but we've been here a minute. And uh, this is a super sweet bull. Love the mass and the palmation. This right here this is my favorite part of this whole bull. Freaking how he carries that mass clear up into his points. That's Rocky getting it done. We got some work to do. Some work. So, luckily, we got Desert Antler Jordan coming in meeting us. So we just gotta go down this trap face, up the other one to the trail, and then he can meet us with a four-wheeler. So we're gonna get to butchering down. I don't know how we're gonna freaking work on this bull, figure it out. Biceps, bro. Yeah. Look at you. Um, it's nothing. Yeah, I think he's probably too low. Too low? They don't get him any higher. Deadfall, dude. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, they're nice. Mm. Like they hold up even smaller. That's like, sweet. Takes some time. Gotta do some readjusting here. We made it 30 yards. That's a little bit <laughs> Yeah. Killing the game, dude. Okay. Now two. Got him off the pack. I'm just calling him on his shoulders. Nothing. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. A couple hundred yards. Pay the man. Pay the man. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're good. It's because I zoomed in a little bit. We good now. Wow, this guy's freaking joints are wrecked. His knees should be freaking torn ACLs by now. Woo! Wallows. <laughs> well, folks, we made her. Bulls are screaming all around us. We made her to the wheeler. So Jordan's gonna start running quarters off that Rocky. I'm gonna hang out, listen to the bulls. And I got a watermelon monster <coughs> in that backpack I'm gonna drink right now. It's about to be a good day. That's where he killed the bull. There's a bull bugling right over here. They just left with the first load. Um, back straps and what we could salvage off of a uh, that one front in that bag, front shoulder there, big pretty bowl here, all my stuff, and the celebration right here. Let's go crack this baby open. Hopefully the saga ends here. Hoping there's nothing else that needs filming on the way out of here, but they're gonna run up and grab Rocky's truck and bring it to the trailhead. It's up on the ridge behind me, and then. Uh, Jordan's gonna come back in, take one more load. We might try to get it all in one shot, but 
I'd say most likely two more trips and we'll be out of here. And then tomorrow morning, <laughs> muzzleloader mule deer starts in my unit, which is five hours away from here. <laughs> so it's gonna be a long night, a long drive, and we'll be after bucks in the morning. <laughs>